how do I mirror inside of SOLIDWORKS? Yep. Well, this is kind of a complicated question because there's a lot of different places we can mirror. Um, let's start out with a sketch. Okay. So if we come in here, I have this little standoff sketched here, and I'm going to go back to the sketch that I used to create that. Okay. Mirroring in a sketch is really easy. We just sketch a center line that we want to mirror about. Okay. And then in my sketch toolbar, there's a mirror. Select what I want to mirror and what I want to mirror about. Okay. And then I can OK out of the dialog box. You know, if you want to save some time, actually, if I highlight a center line and the geometry all at once and then hit mirror, it fills that dialog box and then hits OK for me. All right, so I don't actually have to see the dialog box. So it'll just clear that out. That'll save me a lot of time. Uh, also, mirroring in a sketch, there's something called dynamic mirror. It's under tools, sketch tools, dynamic mirror. What this allows me to do, if I highlight a center line, anything I sketch on one side of the center line is automatically transitioned or, or mirrored over to the other side for me as well. Okay, so dynamic mirror is kind of a mirror as you go. And then when you're done, you can just unselect that icon and I'll turn that off. I don't actually want those on there, so we'll go ahead and delete those. Uh, I can delete that one too. Now, mirroring of features is a little different. A feature in SOLIDWORKS needs to be mirrored about a plane. Okay? I have a plane through the center of the part. Let me show you how that's created. This is a, uh, I loved when they added this. If I just grab these two faces here and go to reference geometry plane, I get a plane at a mid-plane between those two faces. I don't have to do any math. It's just going to throw it in there for me. Okay? I don't have to worry about misplacing a decimal, which is what I usually end up doing. Uh, so, here I have a plane through the center to mirror a feature that's under the linear pattern icon. Here in my feature toolbar, mirror. Okay, pick what I want to mirror about. We'll mirror about this mid plane and then pick the feature that I want to mirror. I'll just mirror this circular standoff or this circular pin to the other side. Tell it OK. And now I have a feature on the other side of my part. So, it's not a sketch mirror, that's a feature mirror. Um, now, one thing I like to point out is a mirror exists in the feature manager, right? The feature manager is a history of everything we've gone through to build the part. So the mirror exists in the feature manager. If I go ahead and add a fillet now, okay, if I add a fillet to this edge, okay, there we go, that looks a little better. A lot of people expect that fillet to then show up in the mirrored version, but it doesn't. Okay? The reason being, this fillet now occurs after the mirror in my feature manager. So when we're mirroring in SOLIDWORKS, be aware of feature order. Okay? So if I drag and drop the mirror below the fillet, still not there. Okay? Even though it's before it in history, I still need to go in and tell the mirror that I also want this fillet included. Once I do that, that fillet will pop over to the other side just like I want it to. Okay? So when mirroring, be, be aware of your feature order when you add a mirror in SOLIDWORKS. Okay. All right. The last thing, assemblies. Okay. I can actually mirror inside of an assembly. In the assembly toolbar, I actually have... Uh, under linear pattern again, mirror components. So I can mirror all the parts in an assembly. So we'll just mirror about that face and then select these three components to mirror. Um, excuse me. We'll mirror about, say, that plane. Okay. And then we just walk through this dialog box. And this selects whether I want the same version of the part copied over or a right and left-hand version. So I can grab any of these and tell it I want a right and left hand version. It'll copy those over, you know, select whether or not I want the mates to go. Since they're right and left hand versions now, I can rename these parts as part of the mirror process, select OK, and I get an entire mirrored version of the assembly. Okay. So 
those are a number of different ways to mirror inside of SOLIDWORKS. We mirror sketches, features, uh, and assembly components.